Hi guys, welcome to a new video, a new vlog. We're doing something a little different today because I am currently in Morocco, in Marrakesh. I wanna bring you along with me. Let's get started. If you have been a longtime follower, you probably know that I've been to Marrakesh a few times and I actually vlogged one of my trips. <laughs> That's Noah. I am gonna vlog this trip and oh. <laughs> do a little wave. <laughs> a few years ago, I vlogged. I'm not sure how great that vlog was. It was in like the early days of my vlogging career. I'm not a vlogger, so all of that to say, Morocco has always been a place. Marrakesh specifically that I've just been so drawn to. I just really love it here and I feel like my style is so influenced by Moroccan decor. And I remember the first time I came here, I felt for like the first time like everything I see, I love. I've never been somewhere where I've just felt so inspired and so drawn to like all the design elements and all the textiles. I remember the first time I came here, I'm gonna insert a photo, I found this blanket and I was just like, this is this is me in a blanket. And I just really felt connected and inspired by all the amazing craftsmanship in Morocco. But I also just love visiting. I've come every time with my with my mom. My dad's on this trip and he was on our, the first trip when we came to Morocco. But my mom and I have always tried to stay at a new Riyadh. So this Riyadh, I'll link it down below. It's called Riyadh Latelier. And it's a Riyadh. Oh. I was asking a question, what's a Riyadh? A Riyadh is basically like a B&B. &B. It's like the accommodation that's offered in Marrakesh. So you walk in, we're right in the Medina, so we're right in like the market center of like all the commotion and all the action. And you walk in and it's a courtyard, so there's like usually a pool or like a little dipping spot. There's tables and then usually greenery like fills the center of the courtyard. The rooms are kind of on the outside. And this Riyadh particularly is so beautiful. Here is what our room looks like. It's all concrete. You have this gorgeous, gorgeous concrete tub. It's like the biggest tub I've ever seen in my whole life. All of the beautiful like brass details. She does exaggerate sometimes, but it is the biggest tub. <laughs> There's a rain shower, which is so beautiful. I'm gonna take you guys down to the first floor. I think my parents are down there having breakfast, so I'll show you the courtyard space. Oh, and actually, I'm gonna mention that one of the big things I'm gonna be doing here is trying to source a really cool product that I've actually been working on. How many months has it been? Like six months? <laughs> it's been a while. It's been like since the, the winter. I'm gonna fill you in later on that because it's like a longer story. We're gonna head into the market today. We're gonna meet up with someone who I met here four or five years ago who sold me these amazing slippers. I, I just kept in contact with him. It's a whole story, but let's go have breakfast. Look at your skirt and your feet in the water. Wait, you were up since Sorry. five? No, but we heard the uh, we heard the call to prayer was amazing at five. Nice uh, I mean, luxury. I just was sleeping <laughs> in a nice shower. I can't believe you didn't want to hear the call to prayer. Okay, so this is apparently peaches and what? Biscuit with goat's cheese. Whoa. These things are like fried pancakes, yeah. I would say. They're almost like crepes, like what we know to be crepes, but they're so good. Ooh, and the coffee's coming. Here's your coffee. Guys, look at all of this food. Okay, we're done breakfast, and we're gonna get ready to head out to the market. Come join us. Okay, hi, we're back. I thought I would actually update you on what we were doing in the market today. If you've been a long time follower, you will probably have seen in my videos slippers that look like this with these 
big pom-poms on them. I use them like as like props around my house. Very long story short, I discovered these slippers because when my mom and I were here maybe three years ago, we turned this like, corner in the souks. Um, the souks are really busy, they're really loud, there's a ton of people. It's like a maze basically, it's just like a bunch of little alleys. And we turned one alley and we found this small maker, a family member, um, and this man, and they were selling these slippers which are traditionally called babooshes and they had these amazing pom-poms on them. At his store you get to pick uh, the slipper color you want if you want them indoor slippers or outdoor slippers. So this is an example of an outdoor slipper because it has a thicker sole. He has like a million colors of pom-poms and they just sew them on to the slipper in any color you want so you get to pick your combination. One day in the winter last year, I was thinking about how cool it'd be to bring like a piece of Marrakesh to the Palmed Marketplace. I was talking to Noah about it and I was talking to my friend Ella and I was telling her about this idea of selling these slippers with like all different color pom-poms and she was like, wait, what if the pom-poms like came off? Like what if you were able to interchange them? She said that and I was like, wait, that's such an amazing idea. I was like, well, I'm gonna have to go to Morocco to find this guy again and it's gonna be a whole thing until I remembered that I have this box where I keep like important documents like my passport and stuff. Lo and behold, I did for some wild reason. I just messaged him <laughs> and I was like, is this the slipper place in Morocco? And I said, I have this kind of crazy idea. Can you put button clasps on slippers and also on these pom-poms and like basically have them be able to detach from the slipper and then reattach. And then a few days later, he WhatsApp me again and was like, oh, I found button clasps and I'm gonna send you the samples. Anyways, he sends me the samples. So you have the button clasp, you have the button clasp on the pom-poms and they attached the slippers. I also got a stamp made so he can like custom stamp them for me on the inside so they say palmed. So today we basically went to his store. It was really good today just to like see his whole selection again and get a sense of the indoor versus outdoor. We also have to figure out like all the sizing, how that's gonna work. It's gonna be a bit of a process. Like I said, I'm not sure if they're gonna be out by the time this vlog is out, but wanted to let you on a little behind the scenes. So we're going back on Tuesday and I will film on Tuesday that whole process of like picking out colors and figuring out sizes and stuff. Huge shout out to Noah because Noah speaks French and he also speaks uh, Spanish, linguistics king. And he was able to translate which was like such a lifesaver. I honestly couldn't have done it without him because I had no idea what people were saying. I can't wait to update you more on the slippers, but I'm just, I feel really grateful to be here and to feel so inspired by this country and the craftsmanship here and the fact that I get to bring that home to all of you is really cool. It's like these things are just like meant to be. And the fact that it's a family owned business since 1960 is so cool. Just to be able to support that and to support him is, is really, really cool. So before we head out for dinner, we're having tea by the pool. Hi guys, we are actually off to a really cool area of Marrakesh that I've never been. It is called City Ganem, and it's a really new kind of industrial area in Marrakesh, and it's where a lot of artists have their showrooms. So I'm super excited to tour all of the decor. We love shopping in the souks, but it's more of like an artsy kind of area where there's a lot of artists who have their studios, who make like beautiful goods. Um, so I have a list of some of the places I wanna go. So we made it. A lot of the stores are closed because it's August, but we have stopped at Atelier Landon. Guys, look at these knobs. This store is so beautiful. I can't wait to show you all the things. Look at all this stunning pottery. I love this bag. At these shoes, the tassels, all the beautiful leather keychains.
And I was just said, look at these glasses. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, I was just looking at these, but in the pink. Of course, Noah likes these, and I like the pink. <laughs> so the whole idea behind this store is that everything is sourced locally, they work with artisans, they know exactly where the product is being made, and it's just a really nice curated selection of rock and goods. Okay, where to next, friends? Across the way. Yeah, this looks like a rug store. Let's check it out. Bye. Looks like lots of Moroccan rugs For and sure. poof. It smells amazing in here. We've left the industrial city and we're on our way to a beautiful garden. My mom and I came here a couple years ago, but Noah and my dad have never been. It's called Jardin Majorel. And it's actually Yves Saint Laurent's garden. Or it's named after him? No, no. it's next to his museum, which is currently closed. But he lived in Morocco for a long time. Are you guys ready to see some of the most beautiful cacti you've ever seen in your life? Is this aloe? Yeah, isn't that huge? It's aloe. So this garden was actually purchased by Yves Saint Laurent. It was going to be totally destroyed by real estate developers. So he bought it and then restored it. That's the right story. I told you the wrong thing two minutes ago. I would recommend a visit if you're coming to Marrakesh. Hot tip, if you guys do come to the garden, come to the cafe. It's really, really good food. <laughs> Crepes with chocolate and banana. Banana sundae. No, yours looks so good. Banana Butter split. and honey. I got yogurt and uh, orange and cinnamon. We are heading into the souks to get some pom pom slippers. Yeah. But in the meantime, while we're waiting to leave, I thought I would give you a tour of the Riyadh. So this is the room that I was just sitting in. It's a little lounge area. Like, just look at these chairs. How cool are these chairs? And then out here is where we've been spending a lot of our time. So this is like the main courtyard with this pool that we swim in every night. Hi. Do you like our Riyadh? Yeah. How are you enjoying your first time in Morocco? Good. It's less hot than I expected. Can't complain. And your girlfriend is great. Of course. Guys, like look at this light. You know I'm obsessed. And all the little details they've put in, like these little poofs. The beautiful tile. Look at this little light. And I was filming me for influences in the wild apparently. This is one of the rooms. Actually head to my Instagram to see the bathroom that belongs in this room. It's stunning. This is where we have breakfast every morning. I love the walls, like all the natural plaster. So now that you've seen downstairs, let's head upstairs. This is my parents' room. And then you walk down the courtyard and that's mine and Noah's room, which you've seen. And then let's go upstairs to the roof. We've had such a good experience here. I mean, we've had good experiences at all the Riyadhs we've stayed at while in Marrakesh. This one might be my favorite. It's small, it's smaller than the ones we've stayed at, which is nice, so it's not like busy, there's not tons of people. It's just really been, at the times we've been up, it's just been me, Noah, and my mom and my dad like in the main areas. I hope you guys enjoyed that little tour. Obviously, this is like my dream home. I'm like, can I, take everything with me and bring it back home. So we are heading to go seal the deal on my slippers. I'm really, really excited to finally like have the product and have gotten it right. I'm so excited that I got to bring a piece of Morocco home with me to share with all of you because I know that it is such a privilege to be able to travel here and experience like this amazing culture. So yeah, I don't take that for granted. I'm just, I'm so excited. Let's do a business deal. <laughs> Are you guys ready to go get slippers? No one? Who's ready? No one's ready apparently. Oh, there's Gem trailing behind. We're here. We are here at the shoe place. So last night we made a spreadsheet. So my dad's brought his computer. We're gonna do some, some slipper business. Look at how many slippers there are and how many pom-poms. 
So I brought the button clasps. We've gotten the shoe that I'll be selling, which is this. I'm gonna pick the pom-pom color and they're gonna use button clasps that I brought to sew them on so that the pom-pom can be changed. Let me show you. So these are all the colors of pom-poms. It's just so fun. And the beauty of the button snap is that you can switch up all the colors. I think I like this color with this. Oh, you're sewing on the button clasp. I think I like the white. Yay! So I already knew that this is how it worked because they had sent me a sample a while ago, but still so cool to see it. How flippin' cute. I have my, my business team behind me. <laughs> okay, so now it's time to pick colors of the shoes that I'm gonna offer and the pom-poms. I printed out my Milo note board. <laughs> it's good, right? All my packaging's here, all the buttons, button class, my logo. And the idea, guys, is that he has limited supplies of the colors. Like the dye colors always change. They're not consistent. The idea is every few months, I'll be able to update the shop with more with more colors. But right now, we're starting with two colors. Look at all the pom-poms. <laughs> this is the pink color I think we're going to do. We are picking fabric and pom-pom colors because the fabric is from Italy, the leather, they only have a limited amount. So here's where we're at right now. So I'm going to offer the black, this rose color, and then this lighter pink color. And then these are all my pom-poms that I'll be offering in the store that you can mix and match. This is like all the things I love coming true. Pom-poms, shoes, colors, so fun. Hi guys, so as you can see, I'm back from Morocco. I really hope you enjoyed watching the vlog and the whole slipper sourcing adventure. Really excited to let you know that I placed my order. I can't wait to um, announce the launch of the palm slippers. So make sure you're following me on Instagram and also sign up for my newsletter to get all of the deets about when those launch. I thought to end this vlog, I would do a quick haul of things that I got in Morocco and also things that I got in the UK. Let's actually start with the UK things. I picked up these really cute little tea towels. I got Amanda one of these but in a baby blue color because she's like the queen of blue. These are linen and they're just just so cute. The Brits do floral like quite well. Really well actually. This like vintage floral print. Maybe I'll leave this one at the office. I also snagged these trays for 70% off at this store called Accessorize, which I used to shop at all the time when I was younger. Sometimes they have really cute decor stuff. So I got this for four pounds, this little tray. And then I got a bigger one in this beautiful pink color. I'm already planning slash plotting our new office in my head. I'm not teasing a new office. We have no plans of moving anytime soon. But when we do, I'm like, how cute would these be on like a beautiful entryway table when you walk into our studio? Okay, and then Morocco stuff. So I got some gifts for the team, including these like adorable little tassels. These are so great for doors or like on your kitchen cabinets. And yeah, two pink ones. And then I got each team member a cushion. I actually bought all of them at the same place except for Alessandra's because I saw Alessandra's and was like, I have to go back for it. Alessandra, don't look. Oh, you saw it. <laughs> okay, that's the most adorable reaction ever of life. Sorry, I'm not supposed to look. I just thought this would go so well with her house. I, I bought her one and I was like, no, I have to get her another one because this is so Alessandra. I would say Czech is like so big right now. Um, and also in Morocco in the markets, you know, they're on trend. For Graham, I got this one. It's actually really hard to shop for Graham. Actually, I have no concept of what he would like, but I got him this cushion cover. Craftsmanship is amazing. Like it's all hand sewn and yeah, they're like really like heavy, good quality. Um, I got Alana this one because she loves pink. This one's for Amanda because she lives in a literal cloud. So I thought this would look so good on her sofa. For James, I got a mustard one. And then Neve, I got this one. <laughs> She's not looking. <laughs> I got Carla a black and white one. Um, and then I got these two little baskets from the basket souk. You can never go wrong with some little 
some little baskets, one in a mustard color, and then one in a little white color. And I just realized I got some pottery that I left at home, but I will add those clips in now. I've actually never purchased pottery from Morocco, like ever, because I've always just have been worried about transporting it, but Noah and I filled a suitcase just with pottery and brought it home and nothing broke, which was amazing. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Um, thank you for joining me and my family on our trip to Morocco. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye. And then it'll be the intro, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, that.